If you asked me last year whether I use the calendar or not, I would just laugh. Why do you even need the calendar, I would say. But as the number of meetings, calls, demos kept growing every day, I started to lose track. If you ask me today, the calendar app on my phone is the last app I check before I go to bed and the first one I check when I wake up. The same goes for social media. You need the calendar. The more content you create and post, which you should because otherwise your 10,000 followers mean absolutely nothing, the easier it is to lose track. Let me show you Publer's newest social media calendar. And uh, this is my other favorite calendar. Uh, in this view, I can see all the past content across all my social accounts, so across Facebook, Google My Business, Instagram and so on. And uh, besides the past content, I can also see what has been scheduled for the future. And uh, I can easily click on the post in order like, to see it better. So maybe let's see what this post is about. It looks good. I can uh, click on edit if I want to change the caption or the photo. Uh, if I want to delete it, I can simply click on the delete button and if I want to publish it right away, I can simply click on the publish button. Now, if we take a look at March 31st, uh, we see that there's no content in here. But we have a, uh, a lot of content on March 30th, so what I can do, I can easily drag and drop content in order to reschedule them. So let's reschedule the Instagram post and also the Facebook post. So now we have content for, for both March 30th and March 31st. On uh, April 4th, uh, maybe I don't know what to, to post and this little icon in here will become very handy. I can see the holidays for every single day of the month. So let's see what we have on April 4th. And uh, we have Easter, so it's a, a good day to post about it. So we have the hashtag Happy Easter. Maybe let's post a GIF on Twitter. So let's select Twitter, select GIF, yeah, let's say Happy Easter. And this one looks good, click on schedule. So we're on April 4th. Uh, let's schedule this one for early in the morning. So maybe 8 a.m., click on schedule. And now we also have content for April 4th. On the April 2nd, I want to schedule something manually. So I simply click on this plus button in here and let's select Twitter, uh, Instagram, and Facebook. Let's uh, upload the media from the library. Let's see, maybe this one in here, click on use media, enjoy this view, click on schedule. We're on April 2nd, maybe let's schedule this one for 12 p.m. Click on schedule. And now we also have content for April 2nd. If I scroll up, I'll be able to filter posts by social accounts. I can even like search for posts, uh, filter them by post type or members. Uh, let's see uh, what we have scheduled only for Instagram. So if I select Instagram, then we will only see the Instagram posts and uh, I can also navigate through the months. So let's see what we have scheduled for next month. And uh, these are uh, the content that has been scheduled for Instagram for the month of April. If you're not comfortable with this view, I can easily switch to the weekly view, which is the view that we recommend because it gives you a better idea of uh, how your calendar looks like. And uh, this is, let's go to an earlier date. Now this is the content that we have scheduled from April 5th to April 11th. And uh, you can easily like add new content, you can uh, reschedule them by dragging and dropping. Uh, you can see like the holidays for this week and you can always like delete content that you don't want. If I click on the, uh, the April 11th, so if I click on the date, it will take me to the daily view for this date. So let's click on it. And now uh, we can see that we have like two posts scheduled, one at 8 a.m which if I, if I click on it, which looks like the following. And uh, at the bottom, we have the other post scheduled for 11 p.m. on this day. And if you want to add new content, so maybe on uh, April 11th, I want to add something at 5 p.m., I can simply click on the plus button at the 5 p.m. time slot. I hope you take advantage of it because if there's one feature that every single member of the Publer team worked on, this is it. So let's give them a round of applause. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you would like to schedule a few demos.